When thinking about where to save for retirement, most people think about your 401k and your IRA, but today I'm going to talk about why the HSA or health savings account might be the first place that you want to look. So in a previous video, I talked about the basics of an HSA and how the money gets put in there and how you use it for the medical expenses. And so, but something that people don't realize is the power that it has as another retirement account. Let me clean some of this up just so that it's less confusing. So one of the first things to establish is that with an HSA, it actually, you can kind of think of it as being two types of account bundled into one. So there's one side of it that's more like a checking account, and then there's another side that's like an investment account. So whenever you first put money into an HSA, then it's going to go into this checking account part. Um, but you can also uh, elect to move some of the money from this side into the investment side. And from, from that, you know, you can choose different mutual funds that are available similar to what you would see inside of your 401k. So knowing that and having money in these investments, then you can kind of start to see why this can actually be used as, as another retirement investment account. And so whenever money is invested, then it's going to be growing. And that's what these two arrows are showing. And, the, and then you also get the tax deferred um, treatment of your HSA here for those investments. So this is just showing that any sort of gains that happen or any dividends that you're not getting taxed on it while it's in the account. So now we've already talked about that if you use money, if you withdraw money from this account, um, I mean, you use it for qualified medical expenses, then there's no taxes on it. Well, if you use it for, if you withdraw money from there, but it's for non-qualified expenses, then the way that it's treated is that it's going to be taxed and then you will also get a 20% penalty. So now the secret part that people aren't as aware of, and that is the rule is, is as soon as you turn 65 years old, then this 20% penalty goes away. So what this means is that whenever, if you, if you wait until you turn 65 and there's not that 20% penalty, then the way that this money is treated is you're not taxed on it on the way in, it's not taxed while it's in the account, and then you just pay regular income taxes um, whenever you withdraw. And that sounds a lot like a traditional IRA or a 401k. And so, so that kind of shows how you can think of this as being another retirement account in the fact that at worst, as long as you wait until 65, that it's treated like a traditional IRA. But on the other hand, if you can use it for medical expenses, um, and, especially, and you can be doing that in retirement as well, then you get that tax advantage all the way throughout. So just as a quick summary on the withdrawal rules, um, we've already said that if you use it for any qualified medical expenses, and that doesn't matter how old you are, then you're not going to get taxed on it. If you use money for uh, non-qualified expenses and you're not yet 65, then you are going to be taxed and then also get a pretty hefty 20% penalty. And But finally, as soon as you turn 65, then you can actually use money out of the HSA to go on a trip, buy a boat, and you will just get taxed on it just as if it was a traditional IRA. So hopefully this has been helpful. If you like what you're seeing, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel or go to javawealth.com and follow me there. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks.